Hello everyone, this is Weather Miss, and welcome to episode 12 of our Sims series. Last time, I believe it was last episode, Blake was born, and so now we have a little toddler running around, and we need to we need to build up his skills quite fast, because he's already going to be a child in a week. He pooed his pants, I think, uh, so he's actually very upset right now. So we need to change his diaper because he is not happy he probably also needs a bath because he might be a little stinky <laughs> leslie's in an interesting mood she's got a lot of stuff that we need to bring up so i'm she's gonna use the restroom because she really needs to go then she's gonna get some leftovers take a shower and then she'll need to do something fun to increase her fun a little bit Corbin will wake up and he'll eat and then oh we also need to make sure actually can he grab a serving for himself yes he can get leftovers for himself uh, because there's stuff in the fridge as long as I keep leftovers in the fridge he can actually grab them himself I think so why did he not go grab them can he not get leftovers it's not queuing it up doesn't look like he can actually get leftovers himself I guess it wasn't aware of that once Leslie gets out of the shower, she's going to grab food for Blake. We're going to have him eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and then she'll get leftovers for herself as well. Oh, no. We got a pooper in the house. Oh, and it's a large pet poop, which means it's probably Kaya's. Oh, Kaya, why did you poop in the house? I can't even... I can't even train... I can't even train out that misbehavior. Why did you poop in here? Hmm, not sure what that was about, why Kaya decided she wanted to poop in the house, but... Alright, Blake is all done eating, and it looks like he it needs to go to the bathroom, but I don't think he can actually do it himself yet. Yeah, he has to have potty help first, so we're gonna have him do that. So that'll build it up a little bit, and then we need to start working on his skills, like I mentioned in the last episode. And I think in this one too, he actually ages up in a week. And we want to get those skills as high as we can because they will translate to even better skills and capabilities once he's a kid and all grown up. But for now, he needs to go to sleep so he can build up that energy again. Corbin can go ahead and get up and take a shower as well as grab some leftovers. Leslie is quite tired and she needs a lot of fun. We're going to, she's going to play some games to increase her fun and then have her go to sleep afterward. All right, work for Leslie starts in an hour and she's all ready to go and she's almost got her energy up too. And these other things I'm not really concerned about having them be all the way up they'll be fine because she can use the restroom at work and she can also eat at work I think so we are just going to have her keep sleeping until she goes to work and then she should be good to go Corbin is listening to the keyboard autoplay some music because he hasn't listened to music in a while and he's really missing it and so this is actually really nice for him oh my god look at these little paw prints in the snow I just noticed them they're so cute I think it's time for him to get up and time to build up some skill level. Blake is going to play with some toys to help bring up his skill. I'm pretty sure this is increasing his imagination. We'll also talk to the parents so the communication can go up. We also need to increase thinking as well so he can actually play with the shapes of these blocks. We're going to focus on skill building Blake today since, oh, Corbin needs to go to work which means we're gonna have to have a nanny come over. Ah, Leslie made it home just in time to watch Blake and she needs to get him some food because he's quite hungry. So we'll have her grab food for Blake and we'll just have him eat peas. Now, she just got promoted and we need to increase her piano skill. Cool, no problem. The violin skill is already quite high, as you remember from when we first met her. So she's not too far off from creating that piano skill either, I don't believe. So that'll be fairly easy. He is all happy and fed, and now he's going to go to sleep. Leslie needs to get leftovers for herself, and then we'll probably have her go to bed as well. Actually, we also need to fill and call the pets to eat here. Corbin came home from work and he also got promoted. He got a couple of different things like writing a bar guide on the computer as well as a bottle rack. So for his career, 
he needs to increase his mixology and charisma skill. His charisma skill needs to go up quite a bit. So it's going to be a little bit before we can get them promoted again. But he is the chief drink operator, and that's quite good. So that's really exciting. We just have a lot to work on now. Promotion tasks for both Leslie and Corbin, as well as skill building for Blake. So we have lots to do. Shadow has aged up. Shadow went from a puppy to an adult, and now we have a two giant dogs in the house. Here, Shadow, all grown up and super fluffy looking, super cute. Oh, he's he's so adorable. Pia's over here sleeping on the couch, being all cute and stuff. I don't know how long their adult lifespan is, but. Kaya has been an adult for quite some time, I believe since episode 2, and so I'm not exactly sure when she's going to turn into an elder puppy, but clearly it's a while, and that's good though, because that just means that she still has to go through the elder phage before she passes away. Blake is almost up in his energy, and so I want him to get up so he can increase his skill. We really need him to increase that up. Now, the easiest way to do that is to work with the tablet. That's going to be the fastest way. The tablet is a really quick and easy way for them to build up these skills, and so I think I'm going to have him do it that way. That way, you can have a skills build up before he turns into a child. Go to the potty! Ask to go potty, Shadow. I know you're looking like you gotta, so... Go potty. I don't think you're potty trained yet. At least the notification hasn't come across, so I'm not entirely sure. And then Kaya has left her fur everywhere. I don't think they can breed, so I'm kind of curious why I have the option to encourage Kaya to breed. Not sure, but you can already see that Blake has his communication skill already up to level 2. I want to get them up to level 3 because I think that's when you start seeing the benefits of increasing their skill. And so uh, that's my main goal is to get all of them up to level 3 at some point. I don't think when they turn to a child and their potty isn't up maxed out that they don't know how to go to the bathroom. I'm pretty sure they still know how to go to the bathroom. So I don't think it's a huge deal, but I don't know. We have never actually, usually when I have a kid, I train them all the way up. Their skills are maxed out completely, which is level five for a toddler. They're typically level 10 for an adult, but I usually always just max it out and go full on perfection mode. What is happening here? What are they doing? Please don't tell me you're breeding. Like you guys just did some mating dance. Please don't tell me you're breeding. You both are like spayed and neutered, I thought. You guys can't have kids. What? Kaya just recently mated? You guys aren't supposed to be mating. What the heck? Oh no, this is not good. I can't be having puppies all over the place. Lecture about jumping on counters. You were jumping on counters and I missed it? What is happening here? Because I lectured Shadow by jumping on counters, I trained out a misbehavior. So that's good, I guess. Everything is a hot mess. We're going to clean up these hair piles, clean up this pile, clean up all these other hair piles. Uh, what else do we need to do? Um, clean up this hair pile as well. You guys better not be mating out here. I swear to God. You guys are spayed and neutered, I thought. I don't think you can be having babies. Maybe they can just mate for fun. I don't know. I've never actually had pets mate in this game before. <laughs> Blake has increased his skill levels, and so they're all up to level 3. I'm going to have him keep doing the thinking, and then we'll gradually work up the other ones as well. He's getting hungry, so once he gets a little bit irritated, I'll have Corbin get some food for him. Alright guys, so I was just thinking we have a little bit of a problem. I don't think I'm 100% ready to have another kid. I am busy handling Blake right now. But Leslie is going to be an elder in uh, probably... It's a little more than a week, so we still have some time. I'm just not 100% sure. I guess I'll find out if they can actually have kids as an elder. I would think perhaps not, but... Because it is going to be Blake's birthday in a little less than a week. We may be able to fit some time in there where we can have her birthday. Where we can maybe try for one more kid before her birthday. So we may be able to have two kids. If not, one child is perfectly fine. Because that means we can focus all of our hard work and energy into having and making this child succeed.
Corbin is in a pretty good mood. So let's focus on these skills. He has a mixology skill and a charisma skill he needs to build up. We'll have him practice making drinks so he can build up the mixology. Oh wait, he has to go to work. Crap. We're going to have to either have a nanny come over or Blake's going to go to a daycare. I'll usually take them, have them go to a daycare because it's free. Corbin is home from work too and he also needs to take a shower get some leftovers and then we'll have him go to sleep as well he's going to give food to Blake because Blake is probably going to wake up here soon and I want to make sure he has food ready for him when he gets up I think Blake threw a sandwich on the floor or something because his hunger didn't go up and there's this pile of I don't even know what like you can see that these are hair piles this is something different and I'm not sure what it is but Let's see if I can have him grab, we'll have him grab this bacon and eggs and just have him eat that because we need him to eat something and I don't want the parents to get up. He has some energy so we're going to increase his skills, we'll increase his imagination skill for now and then we can, ju we can just have him go to bed a little bit later. Leslie's awake and she needs to use the restroom. What else is wrong with her? Oh, that's, that's about it. Okay, perfect, which means we can have her practice music when she's comfortable at least. We're also going to make a resolution because she loves the tradition and we're going to do something like raise up a skill because we know we want to raise up her skill and we know we're going to do it within seven days. So that'll be an easy re resolution to make and get. We're going to stop this for a second because the animals are hungry and we need to fill their bowls. Now, Blake is quite upset and he's tired, but we're going to have him use the restroom before he goes to sleep so he can build up that potty training skill. And now that he's level 2, he can actually do it all by himself. He doesn't need a parent to help him. Corbin's awake. We're going to have him clean up everything because it is a giant mess up in this place. Leslie's got that piano skill up, so she is all set. She doesn't really need to do that anymore. Um, this thing is happening again. Uh, is she actually going to go through with all of these? Corbin needs to increase his fun, so he's just going to play a game that usually does it really quickly. Then he's going to serve lunch. We'll probably just do garlic noodles, and then he'll eat that, but also have some leftovers as well. Still feel like it's a giant mess, only because Kaya's shedding again. There's a, still a plate on the coffee table, but I think it's from like a fairly new thing. And uh, things are quite chaotic here. Blake is in a really good mood, which means we'll have some time to increase his skills. We'll go ahead and go with the thinking skills since that's the lowest at this point. Blake needs to go to the bathroom, so we're going to have him go potty. The thing about the toddlers is I feel like they will tend to use their diaper if they really need to go to the bathroom but they will also won't let you know so basically you kind of need to make sure you monitor their bathroom because I want to avoid having them use the diaper as much as possible so I think that's about all I have time for today we've done quite a bit of stuff Blake is going to be a child here within a week and so it's crazy how fast they grow up so really focusing on skill building and they both were promoted i believe in this episode so lots of stuff happening hope you guys enjoyed this episode of our let's play sim series and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye